first thing we need to do is set up our Unity project. So we have the Unity uh, software installed and you go into the Unity Hub and you click New Project. Uh, choose 3D as the option. Um, there's no reason to choose any of the others like VR etc as such. Make sure that you've set the version to .30 F1. Uh, you can use 27 F1 but I always use 30 F1 now because that's a version that's in natural use. Give your project a name. I'm going to call mine here Conversion uh, Conversion Project. Okay. And just make sure it's in the right location where you want it to save it. Uh, and that should be it. Click Create Project. Okay, and that will set up a project and that name with the correct version as you can see. And it'll start doing the creation process there. wind this forward in a second so it doesn't take quite as long. And that's that same button. Okay. So now we have our Unity project, base Unity level project, it's all set up. The first thing we want to do is go to project settings. Click on that. And you go down to the bottom here where it says XR plugin management and click install. And wait for that to do its installation. Script assemblies. Uh, I always click on Open XR in here just so that it's um, that bit's actually done. Now, what will happen is once you do this, it will kind of do a reboot of uh, Unity at the end of it. So, do all the little installs, do the compilation. And then it'll tell you that you want to reload, and you click yes. And what will happen is it will do all the installation and setting up. There we go. And it does a reboot. Or a reboot of Unity anyway, that project. There we go. Uh, so that's kind of set up at that point. If you now start looking here, go to import packages and custom package. Now I'm going to go to import um, the Mirage package as it goes. Right, I'm going to call this here so it reads all the outlaws here. And the Mirage packages, or the Unity packages, I think actually, if I have them stored. And I'm going to import the Mirage 2000 package. Now you won't import the Mirage 2000, you'll import the F15 once we've completed this. So we're starting on the Mirage 2000 and convert it to the F15. You'll start with the F15 and convert it to whatever uh, application you want or whatever custom aircraft you want. So now what it does is it goes and pulls all those files in um, and we'll speed this up while it's pulling them in because it takes quite a bit of time. It takes nearly four minutes to do that. So we'll uh, skip past that bit. Tells you to do that, and then just click on it like that. And now it allows you to do import TMP. TMP is TextMesh Pro, and TextMesh Pro is used for mainly for um, all the internal uh, writing on the on the uh, cockpit. Uh, I use TMP, and I think most people do who've done these kind of things because it's easiest to use. So if we double click on uh, the Mirage 2000 or the F15. Um, we can now see in here. 
on your version it may not there may not be a seam with it in um, I'll, I'll have a think about that when I create the F15 but if there isn't all you'll need to do is go and find it from the prefab instances So what we need to do here um, is we need to initially just add a uh, package. Now that package is if we go into here and click on add package from git URL and I will put this link, uh, this link here that we're using from the URL and you click add and it'll do adding new git package. Now as it goes you can see I've actually added it here before so it doesn't really matter. but asset bundle browser so the asset bundle browser is a, a uh, tool that's provided by unity that allows you to look at asset bundles once you've created them and also allows you to create them so this is a big advantage because you we used to do this by adding a script into the editor um, and it's valuable to do it that way still if you have a specific reason you want to do that i wouldn't i would just use this asset bundle browser because it's the most easy and most convenient way to do it and when we get to this later we'll work out we'll show exactly what that's used for but in order to have a quick look at what it, where it is, so it's in Window Asset Bundle Browser here. You click on that, and then when you go, you can see I've got the Mirage 2000 here. If I click on Build now, I can see what type of build it is. So it's always standalone Windows. It'll tell me where it's going to put it. I can then go into Advanced Settings and say whether I want compression or not, and then click Build, and it will simply put Build Me the Asset Bundle to go into the game. Now obviously you're not at that point yet but this is the point is that this is what this does so that's why we've installed it. it makes it very easy to use rather than using the old script we used to use and it allows you to make changes and do it in a much more simplistic way than the other one used to do so that's why we kind of got it set up like we have now okay so that's the end of setting up your unity uh, implementation you've got your packaging you've got the tool set up 